American healthcare system is way more complicated than we all know. Whether you are insured or uninsured, in both cases, you might have faced several difficulties that anyone never expected. And when it comes to taking healthcare for complex diseases like cancer, the vast majority of patients face financial struggles despite having some sort of insurance. In fact, according to one study, among 98% of insured cases, 71% of cancer patients face financial hardship. So, if insurance makes you struggle financially, what are the solutions for limiting healthcare costs? In America, by 2022, an estimated 1.9 million new cancer cases will be diagnosed. However, whether the type you have dealing with or the area you live in actually couldn't stop you from getting cancer treatments right now. But if you go back to the 20th century, things are not much easier than we have seen today. Earlier in the 20th century, cancer itself has been misunderstood by people. It was commonly regarded as a death sentence. Some even believe it can be infectious or conditions that can't be brought out publicly. Back then, if anyone died because of cancer, the doctor also hid the reason for death by telling people that this person had died due to old age. However, after back-to-back -back medical advancements, the concept of cancer dramatically changed worldwide. In the US, the federal government has taken several initiatives to limit the devastation of cancer. Back then, one progressive movement changed the entire scenario of cancer. Yes, it's none other than the National Cancer Act, signed by President Richard M. Nixon in December 1971. After the National Cancer Act, other initiatives like Cancer Information Service were established for educating the public, patients, and health professionals. Soon after the National Cancer Act's establishment, other research institutes and federal and non-federal programs were developed. Currently, if you seek cancer treatments, several health insurance plans are there to help you, such as employer-sponsored plans, private health insurance, and government-sponsored insurance programs. However, like the name, every insurance has a different story to tell in each case. For example, if you look over the government-sponsored insurance programs, you can face two possible options, either Medicare or Medicaid. If you get Medicare eligibility, then there are again four different parts that you need to go through, such as Part A, hospital insurance, Part B, medical insurance, Part C, Medicare Advantage, and Part D, which give you drug coverage. Though it sounds so simple, but in reality, the scenario is much trickier than you have expected. Suppose you go for Part C, a private health insurance plan that bundles Medicare Parts A and B benefits and usually Part D. Though it covers many health services, but it may generate higher expensive premiums, which may cost more to see a healthcare professional that is out of network with your plan. Moreover, if you are eligible for Medicaid, you can still face some hurdles. Yet this service covers certain cancer-related services but these benefits can vary by different states. However, remember we told you earlier about out-of-pocket costs regarding higher premiums? Suppose you add some additional Medicare Advantage plan for you. In that case, the out-of-pocket costs can be generated more as the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services sets a maximum out-of-pocket MOOP limit for the type of Medicare Advantage plan you have. That means not all out-of-pocket spending is included in MOOP. That is all about federal government health insurance. If you look over employer-sponsored health insurance plans offered by companies as a benefit of employment, then in most cases, you will notice several health services that the federal government program has provided. But in these cases, not much promising output has been noted. In fact, according to data between 2003 and 2016, the share of people covered by job-based insurance with deductibles exceeding 5% of their household income grew sixfold, which makes low-income workers more likely to be uninsured and are more vulnerable to the loss of employer-sponsored health insurance coverage. And lastly, there is private health insurance, which is generally presented in two types. One is health maintenance organizations, HMOs, 
and another is Preferred Provider Organizations, PPOs. After hearing it, you might feel happy in mind, as it has several options, right? Well, in HMOs, you might have faced the lowest patient costs than PPOs, but in PPOs, you will get a higher pool of in-network doctors, which you don't get if you go for HMOs. Besides these, having some sort of special savings account, like flexible savings accounts, FSAs, and health savings accounts, HSAs, can help you plan for medical expenses and receive tax benefits. And if you are lucky enough, you will be able to get these facilities as some employers actually offer these services through private health insurance plans. Whereas, if you are not fortunate enough to get these progressive facilities, then you can help yourself out by choosing supplemental insurance, such as disability insurance, hospital indemnity insurance, or long-term healthcare insurance. Yes, you can get all facilities from government and private health insurance plans, but in both cases, out-of-pocket costs, higher premiums, or deductibles are actually left fewer options for you to save money. After hearing, you might have felt lost among all these facts that we have been sharing for so long, right? In fact, if you look over the US, more than one in four Americans had trouble paying a recent medical bill, where more than half of Americans have been found with medical debt who don't have any other obligations listed on their credit reports. Well, what if we say your very own eye can save you from getting bankruptcy situation? Though it sounds funny, but in reality, your uniformed knowledge can save you from out-of-pocket costs. In the federal programs, most of the time, people have missed out on two things. For Medicaid, it's a geographical area. And for Medicare, it's none other than not having enough idea about Medicare's parts where if you are under original Medicare, which offers Part A and Part B, then you will get very limited healthcare if you need emergency services in foreign countries. Besides that, options like supplemental benefits are not allowed in the original Medicare program. While choosing, the majority of the people don't look over all these parts, which actually cost them to suffer more than expected. Whereas if you have health insurance through your job, then first reach out to the Human Resources Department at your company. Before enrolling in the plan, consider the following options. Total benefits covered, out-of-pocket cap, prescription drug, and doctor coverage, which is the most critical factor in employer insurance that people are missed. For example, you got an employer insurance plan from your company earlier this year. Treating your cancerous condition, you need several drugs to buy. But in pharmacy, you might get through harsh experiences where an insurance plan does not cover the drug you need most. This is the most common scenario that patients face. Moreover, to get any insurance plan, you need to know the enrollment period of the insurance plans that you want to choose. The Federal Health Insurance Exchange opens on healthcare.gov each fall and operates until mid-December. This is your window to buy the insurance and enroll in a perfect plan. In addition, some states use their own exchanges, so it's essential to check and see your current area's enrollment period. And if we are not wrong, all these steps somewhat help you out from your biggest fear, the access amount of out-of-pocket costs. Yes, we know checking all these facts all along is difficult, but to save yourself from bankruptcy or out-of-pocket costs, it is the most easiest option that anyone has ever wished for. Thanks for watching our video. For more healthy experiences, subscribe to our channel and keep yourself updated by pressing the bell icon.